All right, welcome YouTube. This is uh, Super 360 Mario showing you how to root the Xperia Play R800 AT. This only works for the R800 AT. I can't stress that enough. This is the only thing I know that it works for because I have the firmware file that only works for this. So if anybody wants to sit here and be like, yo, how does this work on that? That I can't answer you unless it's the Xperia Play 800 AT. So don't bother me about that. All right. If you have any questions, don't don't feel free to ask. I will respond no matter what. All right. Well, let's get started. You're going to need a couple things. You're going to need Super One Click. I will add that into the description. You're going to also need um, Flash Tool. You're going to need Flash Tool. You're going to need a firmware file, which I will show you right now where it's at. It's this file right here. All right. It's Xperia Play 3.0.1.B.0. You get the point. AT&T. All right, you get this file. It you have to have an AT&T phone. All right, I know this works because my Xperia Play is rooted, and at the end of the video, I will be showing you how I rooted it, like how I know it's rooted, and I will be showing you an app to show you that it that it is rooted. So let's get started. First of all, you're gonna need a you're gonna go to you're gonna have Flash to installed. You're gonna have Super One Click here and the firmware file in the firmware files in Flash Tool. Remember that. First of all, you're gonna need to go to your Flash Tool, which is in Local Disk, and then you're gonna go to Drivers, and then you're gonna click this. Press yeah. You're gonna install two drivers. All right. You're gonna go all the way down, and you're gonna click these two: Flash Mode Drivers, Flash Boot Drivers. You're gonna need those two. All right, don't mess with any of these. You're gonna press install. It's gonna open an installation uh installation window. You're gonna install that two drivers. If your security sets is not it's not going through, ignore it. Just let it go. All right, don't don't even let this security because I I trust this is 100% safe. I got it on my phone. My computer ain't slowing down. I know for a fact there ain't nothing wrong with this. All right, so I'm gonna close this up because I already got these drivers installed. But I'm not going to do everything, you know, step by step because I already got my phone rooted and I don't want to take that risk. So we're going to go, we're going to do, we're going to open a flash tool, right? And there's going to be something you need to do on your phone. All right. Let me see. What's all this? It detected my drive. All right. It detected my phone right now. See, you're going to read this one thing. It ain't going to have as much words because I had it plugged in. But, uh. It's gonna say a couple things down here. It's gonna like name your phone, what version it is, and all this kind of stuff. But there's gonna be one thing that you're gonna read for 2011 drivers line. Be sure you are not in MTP mode. I'm gonna, sh I can't show you how, but I'm gonna tell you how to get that into M uh, that it's not into MTP mode. I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, be sure you're not in MTP mode. You're gonna open your phone. All right. You're gonna connect it. Make sure it's connected. Once it's connected, most phones, you know, you let it sit there for a while. It's going to open up. Like when you slide down your notification bar, you're going to have a thing saying uh, phone memory card connected. All right. You're going to click that on the phone. Then you're going to click connectivity settings. And it's going to pop up with this. I have an image to show you. It's going to pop up with this. Not with the, the USB connection mode, but it's going to have a connectivity settings like that. And you're gonna want to click the USB uh, connection mode, and once you click that, you're gonna put it on massive storage mode, not M uh, MTP, which is media transfer mode. So have that press OK, and basically you 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 get out of it. You know, it's gonna it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna it's gonna close up and all that. If it's not like that, it's probably doing the other. It's it says uh it says something else. Like when you slide it down gonna say like let me see I, I'll do it with you right now see hold on it's gonna say something else but basically you need to get it out of uh, media transfer mode that's that's your main one your number one concern that's all you're gonna need to do hold on let me close this out uh, yeah I know there's an update there's another thing you don't want to update your phone it will it will make your phone not rooted no more. It would like I don't know the word for it, but it's gonna unroot your phone, I guess you could say. So yeah, don't don't be doing that. Don't update your phone unless you know what you're doing and you know you're getting yourself into. Alright, so you're gonna have it 
into you're gonna take it out of media transfer mode which is NTP and you're gonna have it in NSC alright that's your number one concern alright I just put it in TC mode alright so after that you're gonna wanna go to uh, these are gonna keep popping up after that you're gonna wanna go to flash flash mode press ok and remember that firmware file I told you to put in your firmware it's gonna show up here only if it's in firmware you cannot like you can't fake it out you can't like search for it like that no you only have to have it in firmware files you have to have it in there alright once you have that you're gonna click there now you could wipe your data me I personally wiped it because I I think it's better you could wipe it or you can't I think wiping it would be better because it deletes all the stuff that you don't need and it it does its process on its own it's, it's good you know so if you want to you want to you don't you don't press ok it will do a bunch of steps it's gonna say steps or I think no it's not, it's gonna do its little thing and it's gonna tell you to unplug your phone power it off and then hold your back button once it's powered off and plug it back in once that is it there it's gonna be in flash mode and then it's gonna do a flashing it's gonna have a percentage mark right here let me close this real quick it's gonna have a flash bar right here I mean uh yeah a little bar it's gonna tell you like 15 percent you know it's gonna load up yeah right here once that is all done it will be f it will be flashed and once that's done you're gonna close that out and you're gonna open super one click don't mess with your phone just and open up super one click I'll show you how this is done and from here on it's pretty much simple it's nothing to be like freaking out about I must press donate nothing to be freaking out about what you're gonna do all now is you're gonna press exploit it's gonna be on auto if it's not on auto put it on auto that's all you need and then you're gonna press that big root button that's all you're gonna need and then it's gonna root your phone step by step. It's gonna say steps, which it's uh exploit. It's it's adding and all that. And once that's all done, it's gonna add this app called Super User on your phone. And once that is there, you are rooted. And to check that, I am going to add. I am going to make a video on my phone showing you where that the app is. So I will get back to that right now. So yeah. Alright, I'm back with the YouTube video showing you, well, it's the same video, but I'm showing you um, what what you should have on your phone by now if it's rooted. You should have a super user app right now. Let me show you that real quick right now. Look at this. Where is it? Super user. Super user right here. There's that app. Alright. This is your super user app. It's uh, it's like using your computer. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It comes in handy a lot. You know, like right now I'm recording to be on. Like, that's that's... I'm showing you what I'm doing, you know, it's rooted. Alright, to show you that it's really proof rooted right now, you're gonna wanna get this app called you're gonna go to App Store. I think I already have it installed. Let me let me check still. I'm gonna search. It's free, it's a free app. You know, you can get it whether your phone's rooted or not, but it checks if you're rooted. It's called uh root checker. Oh man, I spelled that wrong. Root checker. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Let this thing load. All right, root checker. Yeah, you I already have it installed. You installed. You know how to do that. All right, open it up. Verify root access. See, it says I even have proof. Mine's at R eight hundred AT. Proof enough. I am not faking this. I'm not bullshitting you right now. All right. Verify root access. Congratulations. This device has been access root access. See, proof enough. I I know what my phone is and I know what I can do. Just uh. Thank you for the video, and subscribe, like, comment, you know, do your thing, alright man? Thanks.